Yesterday, a new interview dropped with House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, seen here daring the president to place his nuts on the stump. <laughs> it's a good one. That's it. <laughs> She said in the interview, when it comes to the president, I'm not for impeachment. I don't think we should go down that path because it divides the country, and he's just not worth it. <laughs> okay, that's clearly reverse psychology. <laughs> nah, -uh, I am worth it, Nancy. For the good of our nation, you must impeach me now. <laughs> not worth it. That's a little... That's a little... She's using a little rhetorical technique we call duck season, wabbit season. <laughs> Lossie's daughter, Alexandra, has said that the speaker is the only one in Washington who really knows what they're doing, so we can all sleep at night. Well, that led a reporter to ask, how well do you sleep at night? Pelosi answered, it depends on how much chocolate I've eaten during the day. <laughs> Today, I gave up chocolate for lunch. I mean, for Lent. It really was more for lunch because I'm off it already. I had donut for breakfast. <laughs> Then once I had the donut, I thought I might as well have the chocolate ice cream for lunch. Then my colleague came from Guam and brought chocolate chip cookies. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> Just a reminder. Sure. Sure, go ahead. Sure, <laughs> clap away. Just a reminder, the question was, how well do you sleep at night? <laughs> I'm guessing not that well, since she can't make it through a work day without snorting a line of cocoa. The brown dragon. <laughs> uh, was it just, just yesterday? Yesterday, Donald Trump unveiled his new budget, which would cut $818 billion from Medicare over 10 years. So, seniors, I know, you just might want to get 10 years worth of colonoscopies now. <laughs> or just get one and tell them to leave the camera up there, you know, <laughs> with the cord hanging out, you know, just oh, plug my. it into the Xbox and. Shoot those pops. Oh, no. Despite... <laughs> despite the fact... Uh, he's doing this despite the fact that at his rallies, Trump has been saying this. We will protect Medicare. We will protect Medicare. We will protect Medicare. We will protect Medicare. Yes, we will protect Medicare from those uh, greedy old people. Stay behind me, Medicare. I'll fight them off. It shouldn't be hard. They got bones like breadsticks. <laughs> That's how he would punch, right? Of course, this cuts us up an epic battle over health care in the 2020 elections. Yesterday, uh, Trump sat down with Breitbart and explained why the Democrats' health care plan is popular with voters. They think free health care is not wonderful. But the truth is, when you're up on the debate stage and they say, we're giving you free education, we're giving you free health care, we're giving you everything you want and a Rolls Royce in everyone's pocket, <laughs> it's not an easy situation. <laughs> yes, education, health care, Rolls Royce. <laughs> All luxuries. What do you want next? Big government to pay for your diamond-encrusted catheters? <laughs> That's what you poors want. Trump continued, you talk about single payer, it sounds very seductive. Single payer. Say what you want, but it's a very seductive thing. <laughs> He's right. Mm. He's right, John. It's mm. very seductive. Hey, baby, you want to play doctor? <laughs> I hope so. Because I'm very sick. <laughs> but Trump explained, it's too expensive to keep poor people alive. Not only is the country not going to be able to afford it, but it's more than the entire revenue stream taken in for the entire... It's, like, not even close, right? <laughs> now, quote-unquote, that might sound like the insane ramblings of a syphilitic brain, but... <laughs> let me break it down for you. Let Whoa! me break it down for you. Let me break it down for you, put it in layman's terms. Here's how much it would cost to have Medicare for all. And here's the revenue stream for the Department of Entire. 
As you can see, Metacore is more by a difference of, like, not even close right. <laughs> So Trump understands why people want medical care, but warns, what happens is, 10 years later, the country is gone, okay? Whether it's this country or any other country. Yes, you have socialized medicine 10 years later. It's gone. You will be missed every other industrialized country. Trump also weighed in on the Ethiopian Airlines crash in which 157 people died. Now, naturally, our hearts go out to all the families whose grief cannot be imagined. So far, the president has not said anything about them, but he has railed against the Boeing 737 MAX 8, tweeting, Airplanes are becoming far too complex to fly. Pilots are no longer needed, but rather computer scientists from MIT. I see it all the time in many products, always seeking to go one unnecessary step further when often old and simpler is far better. He should know, we've never had a president older or simpler. <laughs> now, a long walk, but a beautiful view. <laughs> worth, worth the walk. Aircraft is too complex. That's why we're developing the B-52 blimp bomber <laughs> and the stealth biplane. Or maybe just a wooden doghouse. They're so simple, I saw in the newspaper, a beagle is flying them. <laughs> he... he went on. Split-second decisions are dat, 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 <laughs> dat, 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 needed, and the complexity creates danger. All of this for great cost, yet very little gain. I don't know about you, but I don't want Albert Einstein to be my pilot. Yes, good point. That's what Americans want. Dumber pilots. <laughs> uh, uh, this is your pilot speaking. Uh, I'm trying my best up here, folks, but I can't get these wings to flap. <laughs> Everybody jump up and down on three. We got a great show for you tonight.